Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's not kind of loud. It's kind of loud on my... Hold on. Okay. Should be decent on your side. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Well, my stream deck kind of worked. It didn't tweet out, but that was my fault. Maybe I misunderstood. Ah. Maybe it just hasn't done it yet. Maybe it'll do it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, how's it going? How's the... How's the day going for all y'all? I am uh, gonna be munching and crunching as always. Today, the running supper update is Burger King. <laughs> it's been a while, I think, since I've done fast food on stream. I got those chicken wrap things that they have now. <clears throat> And some chicken fries. I didn't want normal fries, I wanted chicken fries. I was in a chicken kind of mood. Chicken kind of mood. I got a stream deck now, as I just mentioned. Um, so I can do this and this. Well, for some reason my chatting a screen has a really hard time transitioning. I don't know why that is. It just does. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I can also use it to do this and this and this and this. I don't have all of my toggles attached to it, but I can also use it to do hold on. This. Hold on, get, get, give it a second, get, give it a second, give it a second, get, give it a second, yeah, there we go, hey, hi, my, um, computer is still kind of laggy, specifically for VTube Studio, don't know why that is, I can also do this, I hope this is in the right position, oh, yeah, and I got all my toggles set up for these two. So. <clears throat> We're gonna stick with green, though. We're sticking with green. We're green. We're green. Oh, my item. As you can see, I have a book today. I'm throwing it away. I was testing it for a... Uh... Uh... uh 2D assets. That was. <clears throat> I was trying stuff out. I made that for one of the art days. I'm sure, I'm actually live. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lock myself in place. Yeah, let's get short hair again. It feels like a short hair kind of day. And check on my phone actually. If we have time at the end of the stream today, we'll probably watch Como estas? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? How's it going? How's it going? How you doing, Sen Sen? Good. It's, uh, alive at least. Um, I'm doing about the same, honestly. <laughs> it's been a long week, I'll, I'll be real with you. Ugh, it was tiring. I had a quick switch real quick. Because I am using the stream deck today. Well, now. I want to make sure I'm live, everything sounds correct. And all that junk.
up, up, up. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds fine. Um, we're drawn today. As always, I got all food as well. <clears throat> Ugh, I, I woke up from a nap like 20, maybe 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Have a fancy piece of tech. Sell on the bird app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it because I've been wanting one for a while anyways. But like, I expected that I would maybe wait a little bit longer. Someone recommended it to me and I was like, um, I might as well. Might as well do it. I also hear that it's pretty good for like art stuff. I haven't set up those buttons because I want to make sure like it worked with the streaming stuff first. But hopefully I'll be able to add the uh, art shortcuts to it soon. It's way smaller than I expected. It's like probably the size of my hand from my palm to the end of my fingers. And I don't think I have a very big hand. I can like hold on to it if I wanted to. It's way smaller than I expected. If you hear me crumpling paper and stuff, it's, it's I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm trying um the Burger King chicken wrap thing. I didn't get any lettuce or tomatoes on it because I don't like lettuce or tomatoes. So it's just like <laughs> a piece of chicken with sauce on it wrapped in a tortilla. So <clears throat> yeah, it's like. It's like a chicken tender inside of a tortilla, essentially. But they're pretty good because, like, the consistency of Burger King chicken is, like, decent, you know? I also have some chicken fries, so. I'm good. I'm eating tasty today. Been snacking a lot lately too. <laughs> it's real. Never seen that here. Well, I think it's kind of new here in the U.S. <clears throat> I saw it pop up on DoorDash maybe like two months ago or something like that. Or maybe it's like always been around this year and I just never noticed. But it's not bad. It's just kind of basic. It feels more like a, a like breakfast menu thing than like a meal meal thing. That's why it doesn't exist here. Only Austria has it. <laughs> Hello Ivan, how are you doing today? Been a while. Welcome on in. Whatever countries you're out ends with E. Hmm. I don't know which country that is. Feel good, how about you? I'm doing good too. Had a long week. Let's say it's going pretty good. I got to hang out with my dogs most of the day. I actually took a nap with my dogs. It was like so cozy. It's nice. Mentioning that I'm eating Burger King. The sauce I got was honey mustard sauce. I'm actually kind of like the Burger King honey mustard. It's, it's pretty good. We're gonna be drawn today. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice cracks because I was snapping. Um. No, I don't need that. Hold on. I can do this. Yeah. This is where I'm going to be drawing today. Working on a, a little animation for the TikTokies and the YouTube shorties. Um, 
nothing too crazy. It's I was so I was originally planning on streaming Phasmophobia today, and we were gonna play like as a realtor trying to buy the house, but I decided that I was too tired for that. <laughs> And I, I had a bunch of research stuff I wanted to do beforehand that I just didn't get around to, so this is what we're doing instead. We're gonna just draw, trying to buy the house from the ghost. <laughs> Fun fact that for Xmas McDonald's had a special menu, chocolate currywurst. Uh, I don't think I like the sound of that. <laughs> Definitely interesting though. Chocolate currywurst. Like, like the chocolate was in the curry? It was pretty alright, actually? Hmm. I could, I could kind of see how that works out. It just, I, I guess I don't really like when chocolate is mixed with savory things, because it's already pretty savory in my opinion. But, interesting. I, I think McDonald's has probably the most interesting, like, international meals. Sorry, I'm opening another. Another wrap. I got two, because without like the lettuce and tomato, they're pretty thin, so. But McDonald's has pretty interesting international meals. I think they had some kind of thing in France recently. I can't actually remember what it was though. Fun. I only tried it once because the backlash from Germans was so big. These mofos basically butchered a national dish. You know, uh, that's fair. It sounds something like Americans would eat. <laughs> like they wouldn't care that it's like a national dish or something like that, and they'd be like, "But what if we? What if we did this to it?" So. And McDonald's is probably the most American thing there is. <laughs> My VTube studio is still running kind of odd at times, so if I get a little laggy, that's fine. <clears throat> I was thinking about... Well... My aunt got, um, like, cake from work. And I was thinking about, like, trying some of it, but I don't actually remember what kind of cake it is. It's like a big pancake that someone gave to her. I think it's probably lemon, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'll probably grab some at the end of stream. Who knows? After stream. Not not at the end of stream, after stream. <laughs> I hate lemon cake. Oh no. Do you like lemony for you? Too sweet? Tart? Specific reason? Honestly though, like, I don't mind lemon cakes. They're just not, like, my favorite cake. I think my favorite is probably, um, yellow cake. I really like boxed yellow cake and all that. <laughs> I hate every sweet that has lemon in it. Hmm. Is it just like the flavor of lemon that you don't like? Or you got a grudge against lemons themselves? I'm the artificial flavor that kills me. Cause I can just eat a raw lemon no problem. You know, I used to do the same thing when I was a kid. My family would get like water with lemon and then give me the lemon with a bit of sugar sprinkle on it, and I would like chew on that thing. It was so good. Sorry, I'm struggling to open my sweet and sour sauce. There we go. 
Alright. I can see that. I think lemon candies are my least favorite thing. Like my least favorite like candy flavor because the, the artificial flavoring in those especially is like either way too tart or like not good. <laughs> it's hard to explain it other than it like being not good. It's like um those little circular like Oh gosh. They're like, they're like cough drops almost, but they're like a candy. Those ones especially, it never tastes good. It's like a weird aftertaste to it. <clears throat> also guessing I'm a little allergic to bananas. Oh no, but bananas are so good. I really like bananas. Aside from like, maybe grapes, <laughs> I think. Bananas are probably my favorite. Every time I eat one, my mouth just becomes tingly. Oh yeah, I think you might be allergic to bananas. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a normal reaction to bananas. Maybe it's like the potassium in them or something like that. Maybe there's something specifically in them you're allergic to. Because if you can eat like... Banana flavored things? Maybe that's different? Oh, banana bread is so good. <laughs> it just came to my mind I was think as I was like thinking of banana flavored stuff. Banana bread, fantastic. Says I'm pretty all right when it comes to allergies. Well, besides dogs, cats, and guinea pigs in the air. You know, I have maybe met like three or four people. Banana flavor is all right. Oh. Well, maybe it's something is something like in the actual banana itself. Then I met like four or five people with pet allergies, like like dogs and cats and stuff. But like almost all of them have had dogs and pet and cats and stuff. <laughs> so like I can only imagine what it's like to be a allergic to them and like still want to have a pet. <laughs> I have dogs. I've had dogs for a really long time. It, uh, was something where, like, when I was talking to my friends, I'd be like, are you allergic to dogs? Because my house is covered, covered in dog hair. Can't even own a pet like that because I have trouble breathing when I have contact with them. We have two bunnies, though, so it's all right. Oh, good. Hypoallergenic bunnies? One of my friends in elementary school had bunnies. Gia had like two little two little white ones, I think. And I remember her being like, they're so aggressive for no reason. <laughs> Just normal bunnies? Oh, interesting. Wonder if it has something to do with like their hair then. Like a fur. I don't think I like these chicken fries. I apologize for all the paper sounds. Maybe I should add... It just occurred to me that I can add mic mute. See if I can add it real quick. OBS <clears throat> back up. Honestly, I have no clue how allergies work. You know, same. I always get like really sniffly at the change of seasons, but I can never figure out if that's like a result of a result of my like seasonal allergies or if that's like a specific thing that's like in my area that maybe is like doing it or if it's just like general seasonal allergies because it's always around the same time of years like 
multiple times around the same time of year. But like, it doesn't happen the rest of the year. Oh, so the air also hates you. You know, you know, it can hate me. <laughs> it can hate me. If it wants to hate me, it can hate me. Mm. There is a mute button. Maybe it'll work. Testing, 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 testing. Uh, it still says that I'm unmuted on stream. Press it twice. I've learned that different planes have different times of, uh, of blooming. Plants have different times of blooming. Thereafter, it's pretty lucky that a plant really hates you. You know, that's fair. I, I think it's usually around the time when, like, there's this really grainy yellow pollen that comes around, and I'm pretty sure it's from, like, a flower or something. Maybe a preset that has no function? Probably. Um, and, like, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work uh no what am i saying i'm talking about the trees <laughs> and the the pollen and it doesn't always happen sometimes i can walk through like a bunch of fallen yellow small pollen stuff and like have no problem but if it rains then I have a problem. <laughs> so it must be something about like the way it kicks it up in the air or like kicks it down or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna test a mute. Testing, 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 testing. Oh, well, why does it have an exclamation point? Does it mean it's not set up yet? Oh, I think it does. <laughs> How do you have a problem when it rains? The rain clear cleans the air? What do you mean? Like, it, it's still like falling from... Oh, I see what happened. No! My, my music! <laughs> it's still like falling from the air though and like hitting pollen and stuff. So like, it still is... <laughs> it's still like kicking pollen around, even if it's like the rain itself is clean, then like as it's getting humid afterwards or like beforehand, it's like wetting the pollen and stuff and like kicking it up. And I think that's the problem. That's how it like it happens. Uh -uh, the rain takes the pollen out of the air. What? <laughs> no way. There's no way it just like takes it out of the air, you know what I mean? Like, even if there's pollen in the air, and the rain lands on it, and then it lands on you, I think that still counts as, like, the pollen getting on you. <laughs> I feel like it's it's probably something like that. Oh, here we go. Now it should work. Testing, testing. Yeah, it works. Okay. Yes. It's my fat ass because I can finally breathe when it rains. Oh, oh no. Uh, but I have the opposite. I have the opposite thing happen. Maybe it's just like something about pollen in my area when it rains. Maybe, maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> Maybe my body just doesn't doesn't like rain, even though I like rain. Maybe it's the humidity before and after. Maybe it's when the rain is evaporating after it's hitting pollen. 
that wouldn't make sense. That makes less sense than like when the rain hits the pollen and it hits a man and all that. Nah. It's whatever. Seasonal allergies. They kick my butt sometimes. But I've been taking like allergy medicine. It's like a generic brand though. And I can't take like pills, so it's like this this like tablet that you take and it like melts in your mouth. And those are really nice. The only problem with those is that like my ears also clog up and stuff. So like it doesn't always work or it doesn't work as well as it it would be nice to have it work. But who knows if uh, other allergy medicine would would actually fix my ear problem as well. What happened is the pollen get an osmotic shock. Take so much water in that they burst open and free more pollen, but that only happens when it really, when it's really heavy rain. Ah, you know that's. I think that's what I was trying to explain. But like the rain here is so sporadic and like forceful sometimes that like almost all the time rain is heavy rain. So and see pills called Lorano. I get. I take pills called Lorano. Oh, I take like a generic brand. I think it's called like <clears throat> Alleviate uh, Al Al Albert. That's what it is. And uh, we get it on like Amazon because it, it's like a subscription thing. And then we like always get it. We, we don't like forget that we have to get more allergy medicine, you know, the seasonal allergies, they come out of nowhere sometimes. I'm done with the chicken fries. Not oh, good. I'm really hungry. I'll eat them later. Throw out this napkin. Hello? I have the napkin? Okay then. Just take the whole. Um. I used to take Claritin. That had a really nice dissolving tablet that I, uh, that worked pretty well. It's, it's more so like, I don't mind having the sneezing and coughing and stuff. It's my ears that are really the problem because I get ear infections pretty easily sometimes. Or like, my ears build up with a lot of wax and based on what my doctor thinks, that's like from allergies, you know? Because it, it's like an abnormal amount of like fluid buildup or wax sometimes. So he thinks that it's from allergy stuff. So. But that also still only happens or gets really, really bad when it rains. That one I understand a bit more though. Like my ears clogging up from rain. I'm not like covering my head or something like that. <laughs> let's see, let's see. What else did I have to talk about? How long has it been? It's been about 30 minutes. We'll get started on drawing. Use my stream deck. Yeah. Called air changing pressure. That, that's cause of the air changing pressure. Probably. But it's not like. It's not like my ears clear up at all afterwards or like beforehand. It's like. They're already clogged. They, they already have like the feeling of being clogged and then like they get more clogged like it, it has that air changing feeling like when you get in a plane or something like that but it doesn't like it never alleviates itself it just stays <laughs> with the pressure built up <laughs> Oh, Monster Energy, you're so good. I am drinking Monster Juice Pipeline Punch. So, because I, I figured I took a nap. I should probably make sure that I'm actually awake. All right, I'll show you some of the stuff that I've drawn so far. <clears throat> so 
the plan is to have like a vertical video and like just keep it really simple maybe like 30 40 seconds at most um and i'll need to get like the phasmophobia backgrounds like a picture of those or something like that because i really like the the phasmo house like the basic phasmo house and this was supposed to be like a phasmo stream to begin with i just i was too tired <laughs> Um, but this is the first one, like, walking into the house, like, oh, I heard that this house was, like, having trouble getting sold or something like that, but nobody is even here, and it's so dark and spooky. So just, like, walking into the house, and then, like, a creak or something happens, and I turn, and it's like, oh, what was that? It, is someone there? And then, like, this one. I think I need one more picture in between these two. To, like, sell the approach of the ghost. This is actually three layers. So there's the text bubble. There's the ghost. This is, like, the actual Phasmo ghost, too. Like, I looked it up, up and, like, referenced it. It's, um, one of the old lady ones, I think. She has, like, a bunch of scarring on her arm. And I wanted to, like... Have a, I think what I need to do is insert a shot of the ghost walking in, walking into frame on like maybe, maybe like into the beam of the flashlight. Let me look up the Phasma ghost again. And then like, the joke is I see this thing, I'm like scared seeming, and then like, haha, joke, I'm a real estate agent, here's my card, let me buy your house. <laughs> Something like that. I haven't worked out the full script yet, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I had like a decent understanding of what pictures I needed to do. And I tend to like working from like the pictures first because the dialogue will need to change and I don't want to draw like too many pictures before I uh, like have to fix some of the dialogue or something like that. Okay, I have a picture of the Phasma Ghost. Um, we're gonna add an extra page between the ones um but yeah that's the plan for today we're gonna draw and draw this one panel and then color all of them they're just gonna get like a basic coloring because i think the program i'm gonna use canva to animate it it just feels like the easiest thing to do it's got pretty easy stuff to animate with. Otherwise, I'll do it in, like, Filmora, probably. Something not too difficult. Um, so the plan is to, like, color these. Nothing too fancy. We're not gonna, like, reline them. They're actually pretty clean. For, uh, some stuff that I did yesterday when I had some time. <clears throat> Um, and that'll be it for today. It should take us the full amount of time, because, like, I have to make sure that I'm doing them each on an individual layer. And I have an idea of, like, how they'll frame up in the frame and all that, but, yeah. Let me... This as well. I gotta, like, adjust some of my layout. Good, good. Unmuted. Unmuted. Good, good. We're in the drawing scene. Good. The Twitch stuff. Okay. Talking about air pressure changes. I feel like... 
Allergies just suck sometimes. <laughs> it's the unfortunate thing about allergies, is that sometimes they just suck. Grab a tablet. You know what? I'll draw in the, the spooky book. My spooky book. Where's my spooky book? The heck? Oh, there it is. Blue or green? I'm gonna go with green. Oh god! This is my spooky book. I made it. Just for funsies. Is that good? Yeah, that's a good size. Okay. That. Um, I remember what all those buttons do. I think so. Okay. I need a picture of the ghost light beam coming out on it. Oh, you know what else happened this week? hasn't all been tiring. I got my stuff for my next, for my journal next year. So like, I like to use Hobonichi. It's a journal, it's a journal brand. And they had a special collab with One Piece. <laughs> so I like, I decided I wanted to do that this year. Or this coming year for my journal is get the Hobonichi collaboration journal cover which is very cool it came with like a beaver ray card in it and it like said a little thing about like i assume it's like a little blurb they wrote just to like you know make it make it nice and sentimental and something like that it's so cute but it's got Luffy on the front with his younger self. And it's purple. My favorite color. Surprising, I know. Look at how green I am. I don't never watch One Piece. It's actually pretty good. I would recommend the new live action series. It's actually pretty, a pretty good way to start. <laughs> it covers like way more than it seems like it does. I think it covers the first, like, 40 episodes of the anime. Case closed fan. Oh, I, I haven't seen that, but I, I've, like, always seen it go by. <laughs> it's one of those ones that I know is, like, good. I just, I've never seen. Seems just so much to watch for just an anime. Yeah. I mean, it's been going since like, I think the anime has been going since 1998 or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Case closed is really bloody for what it is. Yeah. That's, that's something that I've noticed as well. Like seeing pictures of it and stuff like that. That's, that is the one with like, the guy who turns into a kid gets like turned into a kid, right? He's like a yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen like stuff from it, and I'm always surprised. But then I remember it's probably like from that time where the same thing was like in the original Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Like, there's a clip. Sometimes that goes around of Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh sitting at a diner intimidating this guy by threatening to light him on fire. <laughs> and I was like, I don't remember that. <laughs> but it only happened in the uh, Japanese release. Like, they didn't bring it over that episode. And it turned out there was a lot of stuff like that. So it doesn't surprise me that Case Closed is pretty similar. Like, it looks 
it looks pretty generally innocent, but like there's some episodes, you know, that are unexpectedly uh dark. <laughs> Now this hand is not scarred up. I want to make sure I kind of match this pose. Actually put this hand down. And maybe do like a lurching forward kind of pose. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> but Case Closed is like one of those animes that I always see stuff, images from, and I'm like, that looks like fun. And I just have never gotten around to it. And I'm sure it's the same way with like people who want to watch One Piece. Where like, they always see stuff from it. They just like, it's too long. It's too much to try and start. And I know that feeling. I feel like a uh, quarantine was the perfect time to, to start One Piece, which is why it's like gotten its revival and all of that. I'm not missing out. It's just a decent time killer. I mean, sometimes that's like what anime is, <laughs> especially for those really long ones. I tried watching one of the other shows, like. That has the same style. It's, I think it was Beef Kaito or something like that. I remember Kaito being in the title of it. It was pretty much the same style and I did not enjoy that. It, it was okay. Like, I'm sure if I had been in more of a vintage anime mood, it would have been more interesting to me, but I didn't enjoy that as much as I expected to. I only did watch like one or two episodes of it though. But I know people really like Case Kaito Kid, yeah. I know people really like Case Closed. That's why it's been going on for so long and all that. Oops. Too many undoes. I think I maybe watched one of the case closed movies. I remember watching like a special or something like that. Where he was talking with like another person who had been turned into a kid. I think she was like a scientist or something. Case closed isn't even in my top three, so meh. Uh, that's fair. It's it's like old enough though, like I understand. It's not like always appealing. <laughs> And it's like a detective show, right? So that's like another thing you have to kind of be okay or interested in. You know, actually, I... What was the anime I was going to watch? There was an anime that I saw recently got added to Crunchyroll. And I was like, I remember that. I never watched that. What was it? Dance in the Vampire Bund. That recently got added to a uh, Crunchyroll, and I remember seeing clips of it for like most of the mid two thousands, <laughs> especially for like spooky AMVs and stuff like that. But I never actually watched it because I knew like it was kind of etchy, and I wasn't like super interested in etchy anime. These days I'm more okay with it because like I don't care. So I might watch that at some point soon. I added it to like my watch list so I remember to watch it. Aren't you got a whole bunch of like slightly older anime added? That like I remember seeing clips of for a really long time and I just I never saw.
So I'm wondering if I'll try giving some of those a watch, you know? Or if they're just like not worth the non-time that I'd have. If I should just watch stuff that I'm interested in or give some old stuff a view. This next season... Yeah, sadly, Crunchyroll sold your data. Not surprising, I mean... If something doesn't seal, uh, sell my data at this point, I'm like... What are you doing? Um, not that I, like... Am worried about it selling my data. Or not worried about it. It's just, like... It's just a part of how the internet is at this point. I'm sure, like... In the next year or so, there'll be something, like, legally about selling data, especially with the rise of AI and stuff like that. But it, it doesn't surprise me at this point. <clears throat> and I'm more okay with, like, my data of anime watching and merchandise buying <laughs> being sold. I'm okay with that. Like, whatever. It's, it's just a, it's just a simple thing. Um, I was kind of disappointed though that like the whole Funimation acquisition for Crunchyroll went through. It's like, now there's not really anywhere else to watch anime. And they're like... Making it so much more difficult. Like, they're getting rid of the free-to-watch option at some point. Like, free-to-watch with ads. Which is like... I think one of the easier ways to get people into anime. So it's unfortunate. But... happens. I'm sure that's why Dance and the Vampire Bund actually got added to Crunchyroll. It's because they're doing that backlogging. This? So I have an idea. Light will hit her. that work? Yeah, that works. But also, like, Crunchyroll is, like, the one place where I feel like I can watch anime pretty easily and not, like, actually get a virus, which is unfortunate. Because they don't get nearly enough anime. As they should. How's that look? I look okay. She looks spooky enough. I mean, I can tell that she definitely looks spooky, but like... Let me erase these lines now. Because I'll have to do that with like a overlay effect. Like a PNG. With little little airbrush. I think I want one more. Maybe a little bit closer of her.
Mm. Your head's a little... Well, a little too big, actually. No, don't scale. Don't scale. No, don't do that. That one. There you go. Yeah. Floating. What's this here? You know what, actually? I am excited that Netflix seems to have gotten a really good relationship with Trigger Studios. Like... I feel like it's pretty cool that they're willing to fund Trigger enough to get, like, Dungeon Meshy. I've been really excited for Dungeon Meshy. That looks really good. But dungeon Meshy? Did I say that? Did I say Trigger Meshy? I feel like my brain didn't fully process what I was saying. <laughs> but definitely, like... Netflix's acquisition of anime is going to be the only other option for a while. To, like... I don't know. A VTuber company, like rises up and is like, we're making anime now, or something like that. <laughs> Until there's another site that, like, gets anime. Unfortunate. But Netflix and Country are gonna be the only options. If you don't want a virus. But Dungeon Mashy, I'm excited. They posted the opening for that. Like the hint, the, the preview for it. It looks so good. It looks so good, dude. And it's got Bump of Chicken. I love them. Such, such a good band. Excuse me. They did the, um... Opening for opening? Maybe the ending. One of the two. For... Blood Blockade. And that was so good. Love Blood, blo blood Blockade. That... That song was so good. I think I had heard them before then, as well. I want to give her a real snarly look, you know? Real snarl. I'm also excited for Dungeon Meshi because the manga ended and I haven't read it and I have no idea how far the anime will go. I mean, I, I don't assume that they're going to get all of it done in this one season, but I'm interested to see how much, how much they're going to do, how well it's going to do. Heels. 
brain. And the vibe. Not yet. Maybe open grippy hand. In grippy. Oh. I have to see what time. Mata. Mata. Mata Khan is debuting. Oh, shit. I use playing Mortuary. Sorry, I wanna... I, I, I'm planning on... Oh, she's live! I'm planning on, um... I'm gonna mute the music. Look, just in case this is something else. I'm planning on drawing Matakara at some point. I wanna see... Oh, she she's live. The lore is playing right now. I'll have to see that later. Wow, it's complicated lore. <laughs> I'm excited to see who it is. Did I actually mute it? It did. Okay. Okay, so... Doing a grippy hand. I'm sad that I couldn't do the Phasmo. I was uh, planning on uploading it to YouTube for Halloween. But I just, I'm too tired and I didn't do as much the prep work as I uh, had wanted to. Where I wanted to see like the price of like an average house. Or like a similar house to those ones in Phasmophobia. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I ended up running out of time. Didn't get around to it. So. But I, I kind of like the idea of doing it in just this animation style anyways. Actually, this this drawing that I did, this one, is just going to be the thumbnail before for the other one. There was a... I made sure to plan this stuff for this month, like, at the beginning of the month, because I knew there were only going to be, like, four streams that I could do. Um, And after that, I, like... I was like, all right, let me plan the thumbnails for the ones that aren't drawing streams. This is one of them. I, I just liked the idea of being a real estate person and handing a business card over to a ghost. I thought that was fun.
think this isn't quite correct. Yeah, that's better. I have the, the Matacan, the Mat Matarakan debut on the side, so I, <laughs> if you see me glancing the other direction, that's that's why. And if I seem especially quiet. I just, I gotta know, I gotta know who it is, you know? Oh, 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 she's speaking? Oh, She's going. She's going. I like how spooky this is looking, actually. Pretty good. I think, actually, this arm is now too far over. Let me move the head. I think that's good. There we go. Let's see. Whoops. I think I have to actually move that even further over. <laughs> There's something about the proportions of it that are are off by just enough. This is on a different layer, don't worry. I think this... There we go. Nope, still worse. Nope, I have to just erase the hand. Let's hmm. I don't think this is what I thought it was. Oh, it is! It is! How exciting. How exciting. Okay, that's all I that's all the confirmation I needed. I'll turn the BGM back on. So sorry. There we go. Alright. Good to know. <laughs> I need more of a reachy hand, more of a grabby hand. You know, like like a like one of these. No, that doesn't work. Hold on. Let me brain blast this for a second.
the music has changed. You're now listening to... Sessions. Four? No. Six. No. Bye. <laughs> it just says B.I. I'm right, games. The last one was Slam House's Synthwave Mix. Just for reference. Let's see. No, those fingers are a little too spread. Dang, the hands are getting to me today. is better. There's just something off the way the thumb is connecting on this side. No, it has to be close enough though. something fall in my room. Guess not though. Okay. Next. Press part. I thought something fell in my room because I was trying to get things ready for cleaning up my room. It's been a while since I like Really cleaned it up. I gotta do laundry. There's some stuff I want to reorganize. I'm considering also like fully moving my desk to a different part of my room. Because <laughs> I'm wondering if it'll be better somewhere else. But at the same time, I don't think I don't think it would change anything. Like, the position of it is pretty good where it is. I feel like moving it would actually, like, cause problems comparatively. But I feel like, at the same time, it could have a better position, you know? Just don't know what it is. 
hard to explain. But that's the kind of stuff I've been thinking about. I'm planning on cleaning either after stream or tomorrow. Because I also got... I also got a like bag hook thing because I have like a ton of bags like purses and stuff like that I got like a bag hook specifically for that to, to make sure I have somewhere to put all my bags because they're also taking up a, a decent amount of space in my room that I feel like they don't need to be. There's a better way to organize them. I'm mainly excited to get like a slightly cleaner room. I don't have to do as much in November, which feels like it's right around the corner. I feel like October just started, but November is like close by. <laughs> like it feels really soon. Maybe just because I kind of have a better idea of everything happening this month. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. That should be good. That's an extra two pictures. Two frame... Pieces. I'll put those in the same folder. Same folder, same folder. We're gonna color them now. <sighs> I'm gonna drink some water. I hope it isn't too quiet now. Now that it's changed playlists. That should be good. Pop, pop. Okay. Let's start with this one. I'm gonna do this pretty rudimentary in means of like filling it in. Nothing too fancy. I'm filling it in with black and then I'm gonna fill it in, overfill that with white, just so I can like see it. I suppose I could do it in like gray, that would probably blend more with the lines, and I really wouldn't be able to see it. This October has gone by pretty fast. Like, October usually goes pretty fast for me. It's like the busiest time of year where I live. 
Everyone's doing something. I'm usually like on my art grind. I like working on art during October especially because of like the art prompt stuff like uh, Inktober and all that. I don't really like doing Inktober anymore. But I like seeing like the idea prompts and stuff. Because it feels very communal. Like, let's all take this idea and like see what we all come up with. And I, uh, I think that's nice just to have something that a bunch of people can participate in without like the obligation to make it good, I guess. just something to experiment with. I think that's nice. That's why I kind of like drawing in October so much. But I also really like like horror stuff. Seeing people do spooky art if they don't usually throughout the year. That's really nice. There's something very interesting to me about when people do stuff that they don't normally do. Oh, I don't like freaked out there. There's something very fun in it. Yeah, that's good. So this is kind of what we're going to do to color them all. Fill them in back with white and then color over top of that. I don't know how much of each one we're going to color today on stream and all that. We're going to at least base them all out. This is kind of like a video for the animation later. the problem here? There we go. That's better. I need to... Yeah. I'll do that. That works. Looking at that, actually, I think thing. Yeah, that's better. We're basing it all out in white first, just to make sure that we have those ready.
you don't accidentally draw over the line art. It'll make it go a little faster. Took that nap today, but I'm still feeling pretty tired. It's been a pretty long week. I already said that earlier, but and I'm starting to really like feel it, you know. Realizing that I have a few days off is like start to understand, uh I am tired. <laughs> nice. Next one. I've been watching a lot of instead of anime. <laughs> I've been planning to watch more anime, but YouTube. YouTube's pretty easy to watch sometimes. I've been doing a lot of it. I watched uh, the new Super Eye Patch Wolf video, Simpsons. It was very good. I have literally maybe watched half an episode of The Simpsons, honestly, though. But it made me understand, maybe, why I just, like, never connected with it. It gave a nice little insight, to about how we treat our media. And that it's not just a anime fans thing. And, uh, I also watched a lot of FD Signifier videos. He's a very good pick for more educational type of essays. Oh, what? Why? What happened? Where is it open? Where is it open? What the heck? It's not open anywhere. It's not open anywhere. What the heck? It doesn't go all the way up? Okay. Strange. Maybe the lines weren't thick enough. Can I... I also watched Hazel's video about creepy pastas. That was very fun. I really enjoyed that. As someone who casually read creepy pastas back on the internet in those days, you know, uh, it was fun to like see them play around with it. 
and um, it made me realize I like a lot of the new like horror web stuff because it feels a lot like back then when people were like playing around with stuff that seemed cool and they were just kind of going for it. They were just trying to be like They were just trying to make spooky things. Stuff that felt very of the time. That felt very very much like let's get together. And, like, vibe over this idea. I, I can't explain it in any other way. Let's just vibe out and, like, make something spooky. Sp uh, you know? And that's how I felt about creepypastas. That they always felt, felt like someone had this idea <clears throat> and they just wanted to like roll with it. They just wanted to like see how far they could go with it. And have fun doing it, you know? I think that's why stuff, the, the channel zero stuff got really popular back when it, when they tried it. The TV series. Because it was so different and it really like let itself indulge in what it was doing. That's how I feel actually about the One Piece live action. Oh, I'm I'm frozen. There we go. The live the One Piece live action is that like they let themselves indulge in the idea of what the anime and manga were doing and they didn't like try to make it something that it's not that's something i really appreciated about that that's something that i like about people's interest in like creepy pastas and spooky scary stories and just doing creepy stuff is that it feels It feels fun, you know? Like someone cared more so about being able to like work on something interesting and make it feel interesting than like content optimization. You know, they just let their brain go and they got what they got, and they were like, yep, that's it. So, that is something that I, I liked in watching that uh, Hazel creepypasta video. That it kind of gave me that feeling of, oh yeah, you can, just, you can just have fun with stuff that you create. Even if it seems outlandish in some ways. That's part of the fun. That you can read a spooky scary story and be like, oh, is this real? Is it fake? But eventually just like... let yourself indulge in that idea that even if it's not actually real, even if it's not actually scary, at least you're having fun with it. You know? I know that was really random. It was just on my mind.
That's good. All right. Got everything based out. We've got about 30 minutes, so we'll color this one. I feel like this is a more interesting one to do on stream. Just in case you run out of time. My family, well, my mom and aunt, have gone on a trip. So it's just me and my grandma. And the dogs. And the dogs are kind of ornery sometimes. So I typically, when it's just the two of us, take care of the dogs for her. Because they, they listen to me better than they listen to anyone else. And, uh, I don't want to leave her with the dogs for too long. They'll, they'll just bother her the whole entire time. So we're keeping the stream at like two and a half hours, maybe just two hours. I have time actually this week. Maybe even Tuesday. I'll do like an extra stream. Probably not working on this, but maybe something else. Maybe some fan art or something. I feel like it's good fan art. On stream, at least. I need gray, actually. Let me do skin. Just to have it in place. Nice. On the suit gray.
here we go. Alright, if it's still a little messy, I just want to make sure I get all the base colors out. These are on the same layer, right? Yeah. Excellent. So she is based out. And the, actually, I, I can leave that on now. Now we're doing this. Kind of the sickly pale. Hello? Oh. <laughs> you ever try to color with an eraser? It's really difficult. Very difficult to do. In the game, they have a really fleshy color, but want kind of a dead, dead color. Since I have a pretty fleshy color, you know, I want to make it more obvious. Hello? Hello? My, my thing froze. It's literally frozen on the bucket. Okay, it's, it's fine now. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's lagging. It's lagging very badly. Wait, what? No. Oh. I see what's happening. It wasn't lagging, I just... <laughs> just wasn't coloring somewhere that I could color. Um, gray hair... No. All of that. I'm gonna do. Scars. And more of a fleshy tone. So they stand out. Mm. 
And now I need a reddish tone. Mm -hmm. I might have to adjust this so it's And then I can do maybe some dark red on top of it. This. It's kind of messy laying it out, but. these up because won't actually clean up when I flip stuff other later. if they're maybe too bright or like it's because the rest of the skin doesn't have shading but it does you know play the ladder It's the same kind of gray as her. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna stretch. <laughs> 
I don't know if I need the text bubble. Who knows? Let's clean... Oh well. Office lady. Up. Starting with the skin. Because that's going to be like... The easiest thing to clean up. I'm gonna clean up the hair a little bit. The shirt can stay white because, like, it's a white shirt. <laughs> the white button up, so that's fine. However, do two tone. Yeah, that works. I have to figure out the shading, if any, later. Make sure I get the eye on there. Should be good. Oh, almost a perfect two hours. Oh, that's good. All right. Let's see. Let me make sure. Have these actually separate? Actually, accidentally merge anything? Merge. Holders into one. Oh, well, if I shade it, 
Uh, I'm more likely to do environmental shading than actual shading, though. I'll leave it. I'll leave it unmerged. Just in case. Huh? Like this. Oh, I didn't clean this up. But with the hair. And there's the skin. There we go. Oh. There we go. Alright. And then these are all right. Yeah. And then this is pretty good. I'll probably do it semi-realistic shading. It'll probably take a while. But this video will definitely be going up on like the Saturday before Halloween. Is that is that correct? Because Halloween's on like a a Tuesday this year, right? Yeah, it's on a Tuesday. So it'll probably go up on the 28th. Unless I get it done sooner, then I'll just, I'll just, pop. it's for the, it's for the season, it's for the spooks. Just something fun. But yeah. All right. That'll be all for today. Talk about everything I wanted to talk about. That, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, I, so, that's, that's enough drawing for today. That's all we're going to be drawing. Um, I'm thinking that at some point in the next, um, sometimes next month, I'll have this chatting screen, like, like with the horizontal chat, I'll have like, a better layout and probably a different background it was just to like make sure that it looked decent you know that it wasn't uh, too odd that it wasn't oddly placed nothing was too out of place you know um and i was thinking of what kind of new song I wanted for my intro and my Be Right Back screen. And I was thinking I wanted something kind of like a little funky, a little poppy. But I still don't know quite yet. Because I have a bass guitar. And I want to do something with that. Like something I could play if I wanted to, you know? Just make sure to save that. Um, but also something that would like be interesting to see. Um next week we're drawing again. I think I think I had something specific I was gonna draw. Journal building, yeah. Um, that'll be, oh, that's the 22nd. Oh, right, because it was going to take the 29th off. Okay. I'm going to take the 29th off. <laughs> that's a couple days before Halloween. Um, but that's also because I'm going to start streaming again in the middle of the week as well. So I'll have more days that I'm streaming in November than I have been this month. And that's like the big thing is that 
November, we should be back to like a three day schedule. One during the middle of the week, once on Sunday, and one like early weekend, maybe Friday or Saturday. No, because I work on those days. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm kind of planning what next month is gonna look like. Um, it'll definitely have more blog posts, which I posted a blog post about Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. It was just kind of like a general, like, my thoughts on the show. Because I really enjoyed it, and it kind of surprised me that I enjoyed it. And I kind of, like, wanted to brain fart why, <laughs> like, just put out, put out thoughts on maybe why I enjoyed it and, like, just reflect on it. So that's what that is. But next month, I'm hoping I can do something more like general about anime. Something just like to give an idea or like a place for for people to like understand my relationship with anime, how I've been watching it, how I how I enjoy anime and stuff like that. And mm, that kind of stuff. Probably a few art specific things that I want to do next month. Like we're going to have a decent number of art streams, but I have to turn stuff in. It's too loud. Um, a few art specific things that I want to do next month relating to random things, <sighs> but like things I'm specifically thinking about drawing, you know, it's hard to explain, <laughs> um, stuff like that. And then There was something else that I was planning next month. Games. Sucker for Love. I want to continue Sucker for Love next month. Because I don't remember when the new one comes out. The second one. Um, what is it? A date to die for? I think it's a date to die for. And I'm really excited for that. I want to make sure that we can play through the rest of it. On. On stream. And then uh, I can put it over on YouTube after as well. And I don't think I have anything else. Yeah. That's going to be all for today. <sighs> Hopefully I'll get my room cleaned up and organized. Figure out if I'm moving my desk or not. So like stream stuff is like in place. I don't have to keep reorganizing things and just feel like I'm always taking like the first five minutes to set stuff up, you know? Um, yeah, I hope you have a good day, whether it's tomorrow or today. And, and goodbye.